I, I think the biggest surprise for me about the Trump presidency was uh, the assumption that we were on over the past eight years, which was as we were moving forward, things were going to become more tolerant. Mm -hmm. There was an idea that forward meant modernity, meant tolerance. So we were all like on those people movers at the airport going in one direction thinking, okay, now we're going to have an African-American president, then we're going to have a female president. Things are going to get better because they're moving forward, because they're becoming more tolerant. To have that sort of people mover picked up and whipped around, and now we're all in the air going, okay, we're forward in time, but we have a president calling for a ban on trans people in the military, so we're going backwards. I mean, I think we really thought when we were making Transparent that we were um, changing the world, hearing Obama say the word transgender before any, you know, as, as one of the first, pre as the first president who ever said the word transgender during a press conference. Um, we just assumed that the, the world is getting more tolerant and we're part of that. And to see that the world is getting more tolerant and we're part of that, but there is a backlash also, an opposite reaction to that tolerance that involves a kind of closing down. Um, it just feels absolutely more urgent than ever to keep making art, uh, not only for ourselves, but also to empower women, people of color, queer people, all people who get otherized by this administration in this patriarchal white way of um, centering whiteness and centering patriarchy. Everybody's fighting against it. So not only are we, we making our thing, but we're also doing the work. I know Jay is as a, as a producer. We're all doing the work to bring more people of color, women, and queer people into the industry to be able to tell our own stories, to create propaganda that we can spread with the entire world about our humanity. 